If you wear two Galaxy Watch 4s at the same time, will they measure the same sleep stages? You would at least hope so, but you might be surprised by some of the findings in this video. If the two watches are not consistent, that means that either the raw measurements themselves or the algorithm underneath is not very stable. That is what I will check in this video for the sleep tracking of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. For six nights, I wore one Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 on my left arm and one on my right arm, both running the same firmware. I also wore this EEG headband that can actually measure my brain waves, called the Dream 2 which provides relatively reliable sleep tracking. Now the fact that I wore one watch on the left and one on the right arm could introduce some differences in the movement data both watches record during sleep. However again this is something that the algorithm should be able to deal with. If not this means it's inherently unreliable at estimating your sleep stages. Let's see if this is the case. Let's start by looking at the percentage of each of the sleep stages the watch predicted over these six nights. On the left is my first Galaxy Watch 4 with a yellow screen and on the right is my second one with a green screen. I'll refer to them as the yellow Galaxy Watch and the green Galaxy Watch throughout the video for convenience, but they're both Galaxy Watch 4s running the same firmware. Now, as you can see, the total percentages of each of the sleep stages are roughly the same, however the second Galaxy Watch predicted slightly less deep sleep and a bit more awake time. Now, these percentages provide a first quick look, but more informative is checking if they predicted the same stages at the same time. And that result is displayed right here. Now, here I took one of the Galaxy Watch 4s as a reference, in this case the green Galaxy Watch, and I checked what sleep stages the yellow watch predicted when the green watch said I was in deep sleep, light sleep, REM sleep or awake. And that means each column here sums to 100%. I know this might sound a bit confusing, but I'll give an example. This first column here, for instance, is for deep sleep. This shows that out of all of the deep sleep the green Galaxy Watch predicted, about 80% was also predicted as deep sleep by the yellow watch. However, about 20% was predicted differently, in this case it's light sleep. We can confirm these results by looking at the individual nights. On top here are the sleep stages according to the green Galaxy Watch, and on the bottom those according to the yellow one. In purple I marked a portion of the night that was recorded as deep sleep according to our chosen reference, in this case the green Galaxy Watch. And as you can see, most of what the green watch marked as deep sleep was also marked as deep sleep according to the yellow watch. However, the yellow watch did detect some extra deep sleep. We also see a pretty consistent pattern of deep sleep tracking when it comes to deep sleep for this second night. And the same goes for this third night, though again the yellow watch tends to detect a bit more deep sleep. And the final example I want to show is this fourth night right here. Again, we mostly see an agreement when it comes to deep sleep, however the yellow watch predicted a bit more deep sleep. Now light sleep shows a bit more inconsistency, with only 70% of what was predicted as light sleep by the green watch also being predicted as light sleep by the yellow watch. If they did disagree, this was mostly by the yellow watch calling it REM sleep instead. Now REM sleep showed by far the biggest disagreement. Only 32% of what was REM sleep according to the green Galaxy Watch was also predicted as REM sleep by the yellow Galaxy Watch. Most of what the green watch classified as REM sleep was classified as light sleep by the yellow Galaxy Watch. And this is quite a big disagreement. This really shows how unstable the sleep tracking algorithm is when it comes to REM sleep tracking. We can see this clearly in this first example night, with in red the REM sleep as tracked by the green Galaxy Watch 4. As you can see, the overlap between the green and yellow watch when it comes to REM sleep is not great. And we see that even more strongly for this second night right here, where we see very little overlap when it comes to REM sleep. And we can unequivocally confirm that in this third example night right here, at the beginning of the night the green watch predicted some REM sleep, but the yellow one predicted none. And also later in the night there's only marginal overlap in REM sleep. Awake detection was mediocre when it comes to its consistency at about 60%. And this is not that great. This inconsistency might be due to the different levels of movement my right and left arm had during my sleep. Looking at the example night, some are pretty consistent and some are pretty bad. In green I marked the awake moments according to the green Galaxy Watch. For this first night some of the longer awake moments overlap, but overall most awake moments actually do not overlap between the two Galaxy Watches. This second night shows slightly more consistency between both of the watches. And this third night also looks a lot better in terms of consistency. However, this fourth example night again shows a lot more inconsistencies here in the second half of the night. Now we can also switch to the yellow watch serving as a reference, which is what I plotted on the right side here. And on the left is the same plot we were just looking at. Looking at it from that perspective, we see that the results are mostly the same. However, the deep sleep agreement is slightly worse, likely because the yellow watch tends to predict more deep sleep, and the awake agreement is slightly better. Overall though, the conclusions stay mostly the same, namely that the agreement between both Galaxy Watch 4s when it comes to sleep tracking was not great, especially when it comes to REM sleep tracking, this is bad in both cases. 
How about predicting the moment you fall asleep and the moment you wake up? Do the two Galaxy Watch 4s agree when it comes to predicting these metrics? That is displayed right here. On the vertical axis, we have the dates of the nights I tested the watches. And on the horizontal axis is the time difference between the green watch and the yellow watch for waking up in yellow dots and falling asleep in blue dots. So a positive number means that the green Galaxy Watch 4 detected me as waking up or falling asleep later than the yellow one. And a negative number means it detected me as waking up or falling asleep earlier. As you can see, for these nights, there were some disagreements with at most the green watch detecting me as waking up about 30 minutes sooner than the yellow watch. So even though I only tested it for six nights, we do see more deviation than you would hope when wearing two copies of the same watch. Okay, now that we know the consistency between these two Galaxy watches, how did it compare to an EEG device? I wore the Dream 2 EEG headband at the same time I also wore these two Galaxy watches. Now the Dream 2 headband can actually measure your brain waves and it was shown to be quite accurate at tracking your sleep stages. Here I display similar plots to before but now using the Dream 2 EEG headband as a reference. On the left are the results for the yellow Galaxy Watch 4 and on the right the results for the green one. For getting an overall impression of how other well watches perform, the Dream 2 should likely be good enough. However, it's not perfect and the gold standard would be polysomnography, which you would also like to try on the Galaxy Watch 4 in the future. First of all, deep sleep detection agreed okay-ish with the EEG headband, with an agreement of about 60% for the yellow watch and 50% for the green watch. If the EEG device and the Galaxy Watches did disagree, this was mostly with light sleep. Here I show one example night for the yellow Galaxy Watch, which is the watch I will use in this part of the video to show example nights. The results for the green watch showed basically the same type of results, which is why I won't show these. On top are the sleep stages according to the EEG device and on the bottom the sleep tracking of the Galaxy Watch 4. As you can see, most of what was deep sleep according to the EEG device was indeed also detected as deep sleep by the Galaxy Watch 4, which looks pretty good. This second night also looks more or less okay, though some of what the EEG device said was deep sleep was actually detected as a short awakening by the Galaxy Watch, which is kinda weird. So for this night, the longer deep sleep segment according to the EEG device was also detected as deep sleep by the Galaxy Watch, but the shorter one was not. We see the same for this example night, where the Galaxy Watch 4 agreed with the first deep sleep segment according to the EEG device, but the shorter EEG detected deep sleep segment contained an awakening according to the Galaxy Watch 4. Now looking at light sleep, this was detected the same as the EEG device over 60% of the time for both watches. Also for both of these watches, light sleep was mostly classified as REM sleep if they did not agree with the headband. But also sometimes with awake time. REM sleep detection shows by far the lowest agreement at under 30% agreement for both the yellow and the green watch. This is not unexpected given that the consistency between the two Galaxy watches when it comes to REM sleep was also not much better. This really goes to show that the REM sleep tracking of the Galaxy Watch 4 is likely not very good. What was REM sleep according to the EEG headband was mostly classified as light sleep according to the Galaxy watches. On top here you can see the sleep cycles for this night based on the REM sleep detection of the EEG device. You go through roughly 4-6 to six sleep cycles each night, each one starting with light sleep and deep sleep which is marked here in blue and each one ending in REM marked here in red. As you can see I likely had 4 complete sleep cycles this night. Now though there is some overlap of the REM sleep according to the Galaxy Watch with the EEG device, I do not think we would be able to see the sleep cycles based on just the data from the Galaxy Watch 4. The same goes for this second example night right here. We see pretty poor overlap between the EEG device and the Galaxy Watch when it comes to REM sleep and sleep cycles. Interestingly, the awake detection agreed quite well with the headband at around 90% for both watches. This means that about 90% of the awake time I had according to the EEG device was also detected as awake time by both of the Galaxy Watches. However, the watches do detect a lot more awake time. Here is one example night with the awake time according to the EEG device marked in green. As you can see, most of what was awake time according to the EEG device was also detected as awake time by the Galaxy Watch 4. However, a lot of extra awake time was detected, as you can see here for instance. We see the same thing for this second example night. A lot of extra awake time is detected by the Galaxy Watch 4, both in longer segments and shorter segments. Finally, let's put these results into perspective. How do these results compare to the sleep tracking of other watches? This graph shows an overview of the agreement of different watches with the EEG device. On the horizontal axis, we have the average agreement over the four individual sleep stages. And on the vertical axis, we have the agreement of the worst sleep stage. The better the agreement, the more to the top right it is. And as you can see, the best agreeing devices with the EEG device include different Fitbits, in this case the Fitbit Sense, Inspire 2 and Charge 5, and the Whoopstrap 3.0, 4.0 and the Withing Sleep Analyzer. The two Galaxy watches I wore at the same time perform about equally well and are really mediocre overall. They are about equally as good as some Huawei watches and some Garmin watches. Hi there, Rob from the future here. So while I was finishing the edit of this video this week that you can see right here, 
people actually commented on my latest Garmin Epix 2 video that Samsung had released a firmware update that could potentially influence the sleep tracking performance. So I wanted to address that by running some extra tests this week. However, somebody else is currently testing my yellow Galaxy Watch 4 for me for its heart rate accuracy, which means I don't have access to it. So instead, I used my green Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic that I just started testing. I updated both of these to the latest firmware as of today, the 19th of February, 2022. First, looking at the percentages for each of the sleep stages that these predicted, we see that the percentage of deep sleep is a bit higher than before for the green watch. Also, both watches have a bit more REM sleep in total. Now, overall, I'd say there's still quite a discrepancy between both devices, with the green watch predicting more deep sleep and REM sleep, whilst the Galaxy Watch Classic in yellow predicted more light sleep and awake time. Looking at the percentage of agreement between both devices, we actually see a less good agreement than before. Where before, almost all the deep sleep the green watch had was also detected as deep sleep by the yellow watch, probably because the green watch detected so little deep sleep to begin with. Now the agreement of deep sleep is just 37 and 56%, depending on which watch you take as a reference. Light sleep also has worse agreement than before at 51 and 35%. REM sleep agreement is still similar to what we saw before, however, at about 30% for both reference choices. Awake detection agreement also looks very similar to before. Now these data are just based on two nights of tracking, but based on this limited data, I do not expect the sleep tracking algorithm to have improved. Looking at the release notes, it also seems like they did not work on the sleep tracking algorithm itself, but they added things like sleep coaching and smart thing support, which are unrelated to the sleep tracking itself. However, it could be informative to now also after this update, compare the tracking of both these watches to the Dream 2 EEG headband. On the left here are the results for the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic and on the right the results for the green Galaxy Watch 4. The formatting of this plot is exactly the same as we saw earlier in this video. First of all, we see mostly similar deep sleep and also light sleep agreement with the EEG device compared to what we got before, both at around 60-ish percent, so that doesn't seem to have changed. The RAM sleep agreement of the yellow Galaxy Watch 4 Classic with the EEG device is also in a similar range to what we saw before at 37.5%. However, we do see a better REM sleep agreement of the green Galaxy Watch 4 with the EEG device at about 57%. Now, I should mention I only tested the new firmware for two nights and I expect this seemingly better REM result to be more or less a random improvement and not reflective of the longer term testing. However, I simply need to do more tests to be sure. Awake detection again shows similar patterns to before. Most of the awake moments I had according to the EEG device were also detected as awake moments by both Galaxy Watch 4s. However, in general, way too much awake time was detected. Now I'd like to dig into this data a bit further, but I have some friends visiting me here in Vienna from the Netherlands this weekend, and they will arrive in about two hours. So I quickly need to add these results to the video and upload it so it can be released tomorrow. However, based on these preliminary results, I do not expect the actual sleep tracking to have changed with the latest firmware, or at least I do not expect it to have improved. Now I just tested it for two nights, and also one of the watches is now the classic version of the watch, which has the same sensors and software, but a slightly different design and weight. So further testing is needed to make sure nothing has changed. Changed, but as I said, I do not see any evidence of significant improvements. Overall, the sleep tracking of the Galaxy Watch 4 is mediocre at best. The most telling for me is the fact that the two watches I wore at the same time give such different results for the same night. I think that as it stands, the main relatively reliable use case of the sleep tracking functionality of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 is tracking your total time spent in bed. However, I wouldn't really trust tracking of the individual sleep stages. If that is important to you, Whoop, Fitbit and the Withing Sleep Analyzer are much better options. Now, I'll be testing many more devices and I'm also working on a way of ranking the different wearables I've tested so far in terms of accuracy for heart rate and sleep. If you'd like to see those videos and more, consider subscribing. I also did a complete review of the Galaxy Watch 4, which is linked up here. It also helps this channel and of course makes you really happy if you like this video and leave a comment, but it's totally up to you. See you in the next video and have a great day.